How's it going, everybody? And welcome to Pez 2020 Master League here. Not with Ted Lasso, but with a new manager as we take the reins here in Serie B this season and work our way up through the Italian ladder to see if we can get up to win the Scudetto. We're going to do it with a team that's had kind of a troubled history in Italian football. Um, to be frank, this is the fourth iteration of the Venezia club. Um, they've had been in Serie A a couple times. Most successful cup run they've had was 1940-41 Coppa Italia. But other than that, this club has been kind of marred down in the lower reaches of Italian football due to just the amount of bankruptcies they've been in the last 20 years. So new ownership, new American ownership group this time around. They've been surging back into Serie B. They got to Serie B, almost made it two years ago to through the playoffs to Serie A, just missed out, and then the following season was a bit of a nightmare for them as they fell into the relegation playoff zone where they had to play their way to stay alive. And unfortunately, they did get relegated last season. However, with uh, the bankruptcy of Palermo in the... Uh, Serie B, that opened a spot back up for Venezia to take. So the ownership group was looking far and wide for a new manager to see if they could turn around their, their luck before or risk falling out of Serie B altogether once again. So the, the owner reached out to Ted Lasso, who recently just retired. If you've been watching the past four series we've done on this channel, uh, he had very big success at Liverpool, wanted to bring him in here to Italy, bring in a lot of money, but however, Ted Lasso meant he said he was done, he's no longer um, managing football, but he had a young assistant that he felt was, was the future, and it really helped him out, Mr. Andy Erickson here, so a little backstory of Mr. Erickson. So he's been with Ted Lasso the entire four years, four past four titles we've been playing, Master League slash career mode. If you want to go back to even before that with FIFA. He was a youth um, coach with him at Newport County uh, when he moved, came with him to QPR as an assistant coach, mostly in the reserve side um, at, uh, at, at North City and QPR as well. When he got to Liverpool, he was, um, he was the head of the reserve side at Liverpool with some great success, found some really good players to bring in for Ted Lasso, but um, Ted Lasso's had no bones about it that this guy's been one of his key staff members to keep him successful all those years we've had in the Master League. So now comes the opportunity for this young American manager to come up and see if he can do what it takes to take Venezia, take the whole city of Venice into Serie A and see if he can be successful. So. We'll get right into it here. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to show you the cutscene to the start. We'll just go over it real quick. Uh, the ownership group, want, the owners wanted six spot this year. Uh, that might be tough with Venezia. They are kind of a mid Serie B side, so Eric, Mr. Andy Erickson went for 13th. So I think that's more than reasonable. It'll give us a little bit of cushion to work into it this first season because there's going to be a little bit of growing pains. Uh, meet the press talked about playing wanting to see results put on a good show and win uh, he doesn't look like to make wholesale changes he's gonna keep what works and then change what doesn't pretty simple but that's kind of the goals he set at the beginning of the campaign now we'll quickly go over a few other things here one more admin things uh, we'll go over the general settings um, and this is how we're going to these may be subject to change, and I'll explain a little bit more why they may change it later. But this is what we got it set for now. Traffic frequency high. Um, negotiation difficulty hard. Starting budget normal. We disabled the first winter window, so the first summer window here as we start the campaign is done. Uh, playing on top player 15 minutes. Pretty standard stuff there. Alright, so I've already gone ahead and done the training as well. Um, I've, I've set everybody to focus training, and I'll exp they've only got one point in there again. We'll explain that as we go along. We got the opportunity to increase the training points, but all the senior players and new players have training involved. 
Um, what else have we got? Oh, we gotta set the budget settings. Have we done this yet? I have. Yes, I have done this. So this is the budget settings we're setting. Now I've broken these up in between what you get on a monthly basis and what you get on a, on a just a based on every once in a while basis. So anything that I made that I pay out or get receive in a month will be going into the salary budget and then stuff like meeting objectives, bonuses, whatever will go into the transfer budget. As you can see here, I find this is the best setup when setting the money that go back into our budgets. And we open right up with the cutscene here, talking about the league opener. As Erickson sits down and decides, your first season is a first match as a manager just around the corner. How do you feel right now? Um, let's let's say we're ready for him. I certainly want to walk away from the game with a win. We know we have the ability to beat Liverano and we're ready to take them on. So, pretty s simple uh, explanation from Erickson there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're going to be doing for this Master League that's going to be different from everybody else that's doing a Master League. Instead of just going through the Master League behind the scenes and making changes or not, I'm going to let this game board here in front of me decide the decisions that that will happen, what I have to do, and you know, some of it's going to be good, some of it's going to be very hard for me to handle. So. This is going to bring a little element of randomness into the Master League to be, make something a little different. So I've designed this game board, and the best way to explain it to it as I play along, it, you'll, you'll kind of get where I'm getting at here. But without further ado, let's start with a dice roll here. So we end up with a three. So we're going to move up three spaces. One, two, three. We landed on contract extension. So we can offer a contract extension to one player. And the clause we have to do is we have to give him an increased release clause. So we'll go through the squad here and see who, which player we're going to increase, give them a contract extension. So the decision for me to renew a contract will be we'll renew our top attacker here in D. Mariano. Since his contract's set to expire, take a look at his release clause of 5.4. So we definitely need to go above that. So let's go ahead and renew this contract. Um, any of these elements here, you see annual salary, contract length, release fee, appearance, bonus, goal bonus, or win bonus, will populate depending on the dice roll. We landed on release fee, so we have to increase that release fee, which it has gone up to 6.1. I think that's reasonable enough. We will lower the years a little bit down to one year and we'll keep them on the same salary as, as before. So we'll see if this one will go through. Um, it'll be okay, we'll wait to see. All right, we're going right into a cutscene here. Lebron are our tough side, but there's no reason to fear them. The fans will be giving it their all out there today, so let's do the same. It is our first appearing, first time appearing before the home crowd this season, so whatever you do, make this match worthy of the fans. And remember, make them play at our pace. So a little bit of motivation for the, the side before they step out of the pitch here. So here's what the lineups look like for Aaron D. Erickson's side as we get ready to host Lebron in the first match day of Serie B. We're going to be playing a 4-2-1-3 formation. Uh, as you can see the lineups there, there's the players. I won't pronounce their names because I haven't found a good pronunciation for them yet. I will butcher them every time. So that's what the lineup's going to look like here for this first match. Well, it is that special time of the year where everyone starts as equals. Far back in the distance, memories of last season, positions and points tallies on the last day. That's all now irrelevant. It is all about the ultimate prize that lies a long way ahead. That buoyant feeling is here. New start, fresh hope. Get the season off to a flyer. The fans are believing. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it.
So everybody starts on nothing. Last season is in the past. We are all equals. Yes, Peter, and I believe that year on year the game is going from strength to strength. It's impossible for that not to happen because of the increasing wealth. That attracts the best talent and management and, of course, greater expectation. The boundaries have to continue being stretched and to the limit. Supporters have an insatiable appetite to want more excitement and entertainment, so let the show begin. Plays that ball out wide. Oh, that's a ball in. Close it down. The save. And uh, poor start for uh, Erickson's side here as uh, we give up a little bit too much space on the counterattack. No one was closing down the wing. Found the center forward and a great fingertip save by the keeper there. And now the counter is on. He's going to look for the center forward. He finds the ball. Can he score? Yes, he can. And it was the direct play that made the difference here as it's Zigoni who scores the first goal under Andy Erickson's regime here at Venencia. Here in the rainy conditions here. And uh, the keeper just a little bit late to that one as he clattered into Zigoni there. A nice little play there. Just play direct. Just direct ball over the top. Good control with the chest. Able to poke it through as the keeper was lagging behind to get out to stop that uh, area. But there you go. Brilliant play down the wing. This is what this team's designed for, to play very direct attacking football. And it's paid off here with an early goal. Toronto now. Oh, really ball in. Close it down. No. Oh. Wasted opportunity there for Liverano to equalize. It was a little shaky defensively there. So they were trying to contain the space. Uh, just need to step in front, not move aside. Brilliant. And now the break's on. Oh, nice move. Can we get a second? No, we can't. It's a save. Keeper steps up big for that one as we're again just looking very, very deadly on the counterattack here. Great ball there. He's in behind. He's through. Just tries to place it with the keeper read it near post. Ball whipped in with pace. The header. Oh, it just goes over the bar. As you can see there, it was good. good ball whipped in. Just couldn't quite keep it down. And that's the halftime whistle. So we got a nice goal here in the 16th minute. Good run of play. We looked stronger in the first 45, second half soon to come. And now he's gonna play it in. Crossed in. Oh, it's off the post and in. <laughs> I didn't think it would find a way into the back of the net, but it has. And there's Erickson on the sideline just celebrating. As Amaru, the winger, able to bury that one home. And it's 2-0 to Liverano here. Against Liverano, I should say. Uh, all these new names are just throwing me off. Venencia 2, Liverano 0. And here it is again. Just simple little play down the wing. Great ball whipped in there. And Amaru was onside. He was hugging that line pretty tight. And just, just whacked it in there on the volley near post. And there it is again. Just brilliant play there. As he's able to bury it home. Oh, good turn over here, but loses it. Oh, he's taken down. Was it in the box or outside the box here? Referee's going to come over and take a look. And he brandishes a yellow card to uh, number 20 there. I think he's the winger, uh, Di Marino. As he was going in there, it was hard fought. Uh, he falls down just outside the box, I think. Will be another corner here. The Verano to whip this in. Oh, that's good pace on it. The header. Oh, it finds a way in, but it's cleared away. Great save. Oh, turn the shot. And it's off the post. And the rebound's going to go in. And it's 2 1. Oh, a bit unlucky there. 
as Mazio gets the goal. They've been chipping away at it, Leverano. Haven't been able to put him away. Referee calls a foul and plays the advantage. The shot just rings off the post, and the rebound falls way too kindly. There's a few of them. Last few shots have definitely been testing our keeper. Clean sheet off the books now as uh, Liverano get a goal here to cut the lead down to one. The shot. Oh, what a shot from distance. And the keeper just gets rid of it and it's cleared away. Final substitution for Liverano here as they're going to whip this in. It's cleared away. The shot and it's going to go in. And Liverano have come back and equalized here. As that Brignola gets the goal and it's 2 2 now. And Ted Lasso, or the former Ted Lasso protege side, new uh, his new side here, Mr. Andy Erickson struggling with another conceded goal late here. Less than five minutes of regular time to go here. Grid ball into the corner, just couldn't clear it. And we try to get in front of the shot, just too much space on top of the box. And number 20 made us pay here. It's a beautifully well-hit goal here from just outside, just at the edge of the box. Two guys blocked the side of the keeper from saving it, but uh, well, well-hit finish. Out wide. Oh, Zuccolini coming off the bench. Can he score? Oh, great hit there from Zuccolini. Fresh off the bench. He's waiting in the top of the box there for the shot. As he found the ball there, no one was marking him and just hit it with power with the keeper up for the save. We've got uh, a chance to take the lead once again. Ball looked in, header can't hit it. It's played back. Zuccolini again, Zuccolini! Oh, he tried to lift it over the keeper, but it's over the net. And... Uh, you see Andy Erickson there just beside himself. He thought that was a goal. Zuccolini was lurking right at the top of the box again. They're not marking him. Giving him time to shoot. He was just trying to curl that one to the top corner. Just couldn't get there. Oh. Oh, there it is. The shot. Big save. Rossi there on the rebound. Can he get to it? No, he can't. It's saved by the keeper. And that will do it. The final whistle's gone here. Ends in a draw of the opening day. Liverano coming back late to equalize it. And a missed opportunity to get three points right out the gate here for Erickson. Well, an exciting first match back here. Um, although I did have to stop myself a few times because I kept referring to myself as Lasso. It's no longer the case. I'm Erickson now. It's going to take some time for me to get used to it, but here's the stats, nonetheless. Uh, Liverano def definitely um, pressured us that game. They had nine shots, five on target. We had seven shots, five on target. You see, we were fouling quite a bit. They weren't fouling us at all. We were just too many sloppy passes, I think. We weren't controlling possession enough when we had the ball. Um, but, uh, you know, I think a, a draw here was fair, even though we... Looked good coming out the gate. Just kind of the rain really bogged us down, I think, tonight. Just not getting our, our feet under us. Uh, man, the match goes to the center forward. Zagoni, no problem with that. Um, they played well as well. We didn't really have too many uh, low points. Our defense was a bit shaky. Uh, tends to happen when you have low team spirit like we do. But onwards and upwards. First match day in the books for Ericsson here in Italy. And it ends with a point. Got a cutscene here. That opening draw against Liverano was no mean feat. The reaction to press and the fans wasn't bad either. Keep it up. So, sporting director's happy uh, with what Erickson's done right out the gate. 
That's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the Master League back on my channel here with Pez 2020. Um, so far, so good. I hope you, uh, you look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. So until then, take care and stay tuned.